Listen to me. It doesn't matter how much money you make. The pursuit of happiness has led many to hell. Unrighteous poor, unrighteous rich. It's led many to hell. Because the real sense is they don't understand whose riches belong to whom. This is what Proverbs says of a man, 1922, or a woman. What is desired... Okay, so if I'm, if I'm a Christian here, this is Proverbs 19.22. You really ought to underline this or circle it or something. I'm a Christian here, and I want to know what God wants out of me, don't you? Yep. I, I really just want to know. God, I'm a practical guy, so you just tell me what you want. Give me my next task, and that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm desiring. So just give me an instruction. So if, if Proverbs 19.22, by the power of the Holy Spirit, says this, what is desired, my ears... Forward. So, okay, what do you want? What are you desiring? Tell me because I want to do this, okay? I just, this is what I'm seeking for. I just want practical advice. Holy Spirit says this. What is desired is a man slash woman, and okay, we're not taking that out of biblical context. He's saying human race is steadfast love. Did you hear that? God is so not impressed with your riches. And God is not impressed with your poverty. You are not more holier if you're poor. You're not more holier if you're rich. And really what God wants is your heart. I, I told you at the beginning that there's emotion with this verse 26. Give me your heart, my son. Because it's like this, this father who has erred in being a part of this force that's so strong to pulling them in the ways of the world that it leads them straight to hell. And he's saying, listen to me, son. I've experienced this. It's a plea. So hear it as a plea. Give me your heart, O oh son. Give it to me. This is Jesus Christ speaking to you. Give me your heart. I, I want your heart because I can lead it to paths of eternal life. But there's a force in your world, there's a force in your life that is pulling you to success, that is pulling you to happiness, that will rob life from you. And this is what he's saying, what's desired. All right, Christians, listen to me. Holy Spirit, what I want out of you, what I desire out of you is simply this, a steadfast love. A steadfast love. Take that and just let the weight of that fall on your shoulders. Because he's not saying this. He's not saying, I want a steadfast righteousness. Because he knows that humankind fail. I fail. You fail. Sin is so easy for us to get entangled in. And we fail. And he's not saying, I want a steadfast righteousness. Because the Holy Spirit knows he's going to send his son in a couple thousand years. And he's going to take care of the righteousness part. But he, what Christ wants from you, listen to me, what Christ wants from you is your undying, enduring, tough times, hard times, good times, love. That no matter what, whatever your experience is, that you're going to desire to love God and it doesn't change. That's what Christ desires out of me. Alright, so here's the picture is this, that I'm a man living in a world and the force of the world is so easy to pull me. And I think you understand what I'm saying. It's so easy to get caught in the rut of making ends meet, of getting the next check. It's so easy to get caught in this because we, we have to put our heads down and get going with it. But what Jesus is saying is, I want your love. I want your worship. I want your life. I want your heart. Give me your heart, O oh sons and daughters. Because there's peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 